Then okay. AOL. What was Steve Case really looking for? Steve Case was, you know, they had created this thing called AOL, which ran over the telephone lines. Right. Because telephones were regulated utility, and they couldn't stop you. They couldn't say, well, wait a minute, wait a minute, you're not a regular phone user. You're running all these bits and data and whatnot and building a business, so we're going to charge you differently because the right. regulatory regime wouldn't let them do that. But now along comes something called broadband, which is brought to you on the cable platform. And the cable guys are like, hey, not so fast, Mr. AOL. You can't just come in here and run your stuff over our lines. We have to make a deal. And huh. they couldn't make a deal with any cable companies because the cable companies – so what they, you know, the kind of money they were making, how they were essentially using the capital investment of the phone companies uh, right. and not paying for it. And they said, we want a piece of that action. So they thought, well, if we can't beat them, let's buy them. Huh. So they thought by yeah. buying Time Warner, they would get AOL put on the Time Warner cable platform, and then it would be such a runaway success that all the other cable companies would have to fall in line. Didn't happen. I Meaning we were only twenty percent of cable distribution in the United States, but right. we were an important twenty percent. We were all of New York City, and we were a couple other major metropolitan areas. So let's say, all of a sudden, you know, let's say that the AOL guys found us wish had, had come to pass, and yeah. we had just yeah. simply put AOL on Time Warner Cable and had a cable a broadband offering that was wildly popular, then they would have a model, they would be able to go to all the other cable companies and say, look, see, Time Warner Cable's making money, AOL's making money, we're all making money, you know, join the party. To be 100% candid, they were, they were, uh, they were not necessarily mutually exclusive, but they were com competitors. Yeah. Um, you know, everybody said, well, what the hell do you need uh, with Roadrunner when you have AOL? Right. The problem was the economics. Um, AOL wanted, uh, you know, how do you charge for this service, right? So let's say the the cable company now has the technological capacity to uh, deliver broadband. Well, it's got to have a wrapper around it. It has to have some kind of branding around it. So they created something called right. Roadrunner. And they said it's going to cost you $40 a month, right? Now, they right. could have just as easily said, well, we don't need, why don't we use AOL? We'll just call it AOL. And, and then you'll have not only, you know, broadband, but you have all the AOL services and chat rooms and schmutz, right? All right. To which the AOL guy said, oh, that's great. So we'll take 30 of the $40, and you, cable company, keep 10. Uh -huh. And the cable guy said, well, wait a minute. You know, if we just put our own wrapper around it, um, we can still get 40 bucks for it, and we keep it all. Or, you know, of course, we have to spend, I'm making this up, $10 a sub to have a roadrunner infrastructure. But then, you know, so it costs us 10 and our margin is 30 Or we can avoid putting our own infrastructure in place, use AOL, and our margin is 10 Why would we uh -huh. use AOL? You follow? AOL's argument yeah. was, wait a minute, you know, who the hell is going to buy something called Roadrunner that's, that's, that's a stripped down, no, um, no functionality service, um, or to the extent, you know, if you have, I, I think, I'm, again, these are not, not only to the numbers, but let's say you're, you're passing, I think when we first had this argument, you're passing... 18 million homes in the U.S., and you've got right. 13 million of them signed up as customers, right? But your opportunity right. is 18 million. You know, the AOL guys would come right. in and say, if you use AOL, at least half of those guys are going to sign up. So that's 9 million customers you're going to have. And at 40 bucks a customer with 30 to us and 10 to you, that's, you know, big, big money. Because right. and whereas if you don't, if you use some no name, no account, no functionality brand like Roadrunner, maybe you'll get two or three million. The cable guy said, "We'll take our chances." Their belief was that people would buy the broadband; they'd buy the speed. And once you had right. access to the internet, uh, you could get email. It didn't have to be AOL email; it could be Hotmail, it could be Gmail. Well, you know, ultimately Gmail. You know, email became ubiquitous. Everybody offered it. 
and in fact, the cable vision was the more accurate vision that that the things that AOL had had behind its wall garden right. were all being replicated out in the free web.